Angel, are you ready? We need to get to my parents' place in 30 minutes. Mom's supposed to be here any minute. Helen? Are you okay? Do you need help? I, I know that the jewelry can be a bit finicky and the clothes and the shoes. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe I should just come in there. Angel? Can I come in? Okay, let's see. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> I am the luckiest woman in the world. Look at you. Sweetheart, you're stunning. No, no, it's not weird that you're wearing Indian clothes. Look. Look, I invited you to a cultural event, and I invited you to wear the outfit. You're not mocking it. To you, it's not a costume. It's you joining in. Besides, with any luck, <laughs> they'll be your family too someday. So you should get used to wearing things like this for very special occasions. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Here, your dupatta is all twisted. Let me get that. Dupatta. It's the Hindi word for shawl. You want to know more? Okay. Well, this is a bindi, as you know, and yes, that's how it's pronounced, not bindi. The D sound is a d, not a hard d. Nice. Good. Yeah, that's good. And what you're wearing is called a salwar kameez or a salwar kurta, it can be called either or. The top is called a churidar, and the pants are called kurtas. Bangles, churia. The headpiece, we call it a mang tika. Uh, yes, henna, but uh, we call henna mandi. No, there's no specific Diwali phrase. It's just happy Diwali or Dipavali and maybe folding our hands in greeting. No need for namaste. And yes, it's namaste with a hard th and an emphasis on the second syllable, not namaste. Ugh. There you go. Oh, you look amazing, sweetheart. And you're gonna wow the saris and the kurtas off everyone. They're gonna adore you. Well, we'll just have to show you how to follow along with the ritual stuff at the altar. And then afterwards, we get to have all the mitai we want. Oh, it's gonna be so good. <laughs> mitai, sweets. Mitai means sweet, or mita means sweet. Mitai are, is the object a sweet or um, a snack, a sweet snack. There are special sweets made from nuts, milk, and sugar, although my mom likes to make some that are lactose-free as well. Yeah, the ones that are my favorites are the cashew nut ones, and I'm so excited for you to try some. Hmm? What? You... You don't know the significance of the volley. Well, didn't you s research it when I told you we were going to spend it with my family this year? You were so busy making sure the outfit would fit you. Yeah, well, that is a full-time job, so I get it. Okay, so Diwali is the Indian New Year. It's also known as Dipavali and the Festival of Lights. You with me so far? Okay, so we spend the days leading up to Diwali cleaning and throwing out our old stuff. Out with the old, in with the new, to herald in the new year. So we buy new things and we wear new clothes. It's also why we light these little oil lamps called diyas or deepas, and we place them all over the house. We also create these 
gorgeous pictures out of colored rice or powder called rungolis that we place at the doorways of our homes. We place new garlands around the photos of our deceased loved ones and on our idols or pictures of our gods and dress in the new outfits that we buy. Yeah, yeah, we do fireworks as well, but obviously in big cities that aren't in India, you kind of have to be careful. So uh, my parents let us set off one firework each. Um, used to be in the backyard, now we do it on the sidewalk. Yes, so there are prayers to the gods Ganesh, Lakshmi, and Saraswati. Ganesh is that elephant-headed god that you see all the time. He's the god we pray to to remove obstacles in our paths. Lakshmi is the goddess of wealth and prosperity, and Saraswati is the goddess of wisdom. So we pray to them for a year ahead full of health and prosperity, wise decision-making, and a lack of problems to deal with. Saraswati also, on a similar note, is the goddess of medicine, which is why we pray to her for good health. Why is Diwali at this specific time of year? Well, I don't know. It's according to a moon cycle of some kind. You want to know the story behind Diwali? What makes you think there's a story? <laughs> there's always a story. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's get our shoes on, and I'll text my mom to check on where she is, and I will tell you the story. Once upon a time, there was a king named Dashrat. He ruled a kingdom called Ayodhya. He had four sons. The eldest son was named Ram, and his father loved him more than all his other children. It wasn't that he didn't love his other sons, but there are often favorites among parents, and Ram tended to be the one that everyone loved more than the others, not just Dashrath. Dashrath also had three wives, Kaushalya, who was Ram's mother, KK, the mother of Ram's brother Bharat, and Sumitra, the mother of Ram's other twin brothers, Lakshman and Shatrugan. KK had a maidservant who did not like all the success Ram was getting in comparison to Bharat. The maidservant began to poison KK's mind against Ram, and eventually, KK called in two favors from Dashra that she'd earned when she saved his life in a battle. She told him that the first favor she wanted was that Bharat was crowned king instead of Ram, even though he was the oldest. And then the second one was that Ram should be exiled to the forest for 14 years. This broke Dashra's heart, and he begged KK to relent, but she didn't. So he had no choice but to do as she asked. Ram, his wife Sita, and Lakshman, one of Ram's brothers, went into the forest for 14 years and Bharat was crowned king, which he had never wanted. So Bharat ruled the kingdom in Ram's stead, and when Ram returned, Bharat gave it back to him. Ram's wife Sita had been kidnapped while they were in the forest, and there was a huge battle that had been fought to get her back, and they did right as the 14 years were up. So Diwali celebrates Ram's return to his kingdom and the triumph of good over evil, which is why we celebrate with all this color and light. The lamps are from when the citizens lit lamps in their homes so that when Ram entered the kingdom at night, he'd be able to see his way through the kingdom back to the palace. Not to mention the symbolism of light beating the dark. And that's not the end, and there's so much more to the Ramayana than that, uh, the epic story that this one is from, but... That's the gist of why we celebrate Diwali. Yeah, it's usually a five-day celebration. <laughs> yeah, well, that was then. This is now. In India, they still celebrate over the five days, but, you know, we're not in India. We pick one day, and yeah, there's some other festivals and things that lead up to it, but Diwali itself is one day, and that's what we stick with. So, did you uh, have any other questions? Yeah, there's usually a gift exchange, but since no one in my generation has had kids yet, 
we're still considered the youngest in the family, which means that we don't have to buy anything. We just receive the gifts, which is usually cash, which is awesome. Well, that bowing thing where we have to touch the elder's feet. No, no, no. <laughs> we don't have to do that. We call it perebo, and only young masked people have to do it, not the femmes. Well, because we try to see the goddess in every femme and woman, and goddesses don't bow to gods, especially not in the mythologies. Gods bow to goddesses. <sighs> yeah, there's a lot of gender binaries in Hindi vocabulary, but we do have a third gender, stories of gods merging with goddesses to create a non-binary or polygender entity, hedras. It's pretty complicated, but we're all just doing our best with what we have. <laughs> My family, you know, sometimes the vocab's a little off, but they're doing their best. They're educating themselves, and they always correct themselves now. I don't have to do it anymore. Of course they know about you. Honey, they're excited to meet you. They're the ones who invited you to Diwali. I was all set just to do a small celebration here and then go myself to theirs, but they know how much I care about you and how good we've been for each other. They're not going to treat you badly just because of your gender. Will it be awkward? Well, only among my extended family. But none of those people are going to be there. It's only my immediate family. Parents, siblings, significant others, maybe a couple of open-minded friends of my youngest siblings since they don't have a significant other. All we have to do is follow along with the rituals. You can just close your eyes and clap along and appropriate with the prayers and bhajans, hymns, to you. And then when it's time, we eat, drink, and hang out. Expect some questions, though. You know, what do you do? How long have we been together? And that kind of thing. Yeah, that's it. We're supposed to have fun. And we will. Hmm? Oh, that's me. Hello? Hi, Mom. Yeah, we'll be right out. Okay, bye. Okay, here we go. You got everything? Will you stop it? You look absolutely breathtaking in that salwar, and you know it. Good thing this is a family event, or I'd have to be glued to your side the entire time. What about me? How's mine? Oh, it is? Damn, I'll just... Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Something else? What? <laughs> Thank you, Angel. Okay, your lipstick's okay? Great. Now come on. Ma's waiting, and those Matthias aren't gonna eat themselves. <laughs> Happy Diwali, baby.